Hey everyone, new information shows that if you're hypothyroid and taking thyroid medication and taking metformin, the metformin could be lowering your TSH levels and that could affect your ability to be appropriately medicated. A new research came out about two months ago and looked at 74,000 people with hypothyroidism that were being treated and it looked and said, hey, what happens when we give these people metformin versus some other drug or just people with normal thyroid function who take metformin? And what they found is if you're hypothyroid and you're taking medication for that and you take metformin, you have a 55% increased risk for low TSH. That's less than 0.4. The whole reason I even bring this up to you is because it's very important that you look out for yourself. I see a lot of people in my practice with uh, diabetes and blood sugar problems and hypothyroidism. They, they, they'll go very much in hand. And a lot of these people are taking metformin. And if you're one of these people, you need to know that this can mess around with your TSH levels. And this is a good example of why we don't just hang our hat on TSH and to tell us how someone is doing. Unfortunately, TSH is not uh, that reliable of a marker because, for example, if you've got Hashimoto's, and 85% of people with hypothyroid do, your TSH is going to go up and down uh, whether you take medication or not. The second reason is if you take medication like levothyroxine or Synthroid for very long, your TSH is going to go up and down and mostly go down. And the third thing is other medications can affect TSH. So if you're seeing a doctor and all they're looking at is TSH, it's going to be harder for that person to know if you're really taking the dosage that you're supposed to be taking. Now there are some different mechanisms proposed about why this might be going on and I don't really want to go into all of them but I'll tell you that the one I think makes a lot of sense is that metformin not only affects your periphery like you know, your arms and legs but it, the chemical changes that it causes also can affect your brain and primarily it affects the hypothalamus. And Just how, how that works is your hypothalamus sends a signal to the pituitary called TRH or thyrotropin releasing hormone and the pituitary then sends a signal to the thyroid gland itself called thyroid stimulating hormone. One of the video series I've done was called the uh, 24 you know, hidden causes of low thyroid uh, symptoms. And a couple of those deal specifically with the hypothalamus. So if you're one of these people who are hypothyroid and you're taking medication and metformin, that may be a reason why you're not responding well. The metformin could be affecting your ability to even use that medication. The other reason is, let me give you a quick scenario. If you, have, uh, if you have a doctor who's only looking at your TSH levels and they see that your TSH is 0.3 but you're taking metformin, they may erroneously or mistakenly assume that, oh my gosh, you're taking too much medication because your TSH is too low. And then they'll tell you to back off of your thyroid medication. Now if this metformin situation is happening, you're not going to feel good when that happens. You're going to feel more hypothyroid and your doctor is probably going to be confused and say, well, I don't understand what happened. So, I'm just telling you this so that you can be a better uh, advocate for yourself. So that if you're taking metformin, number one, you need to be working with someone who understands uh, all the different ways that you can affect blood sugar because now the, reason, the other reason I'm telling you that is I see a lot of people in my practice that are taking metformin, as I said earlier, and probably 85% of those people either A, end up taking a lot less metformin or B, get off of it entirely. Uh, so make sure you're working with someone who understands the kind of intricacies of the non-drug ways you can get control of your blood sugar. And if you're taking thyroid medication, you absolutely got to make sure your doctor knows about this whether it's your medical doctor prescribing this or whether it's your uh, functional medicine doctor, whoever's working with you needs to understand that there are different things that affect TSH and TSH is not the gold standard that you should probably be using to find out how you're doing. The best lab test for most hypothyroid patients is them, you know, how they're feeling. So please make sure you're working with someone who's aware of this new information.